All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the Wind Tunnel mod, which is being made by form user Boots. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is, well, basically a virtual wind tunnel that will give you loads of different bits of information about your space planes. And I really love this mod, as it's always good to have more data to help you build a better plane. Now, technically, the data does actually also work in the vehicle assembly building on your rockets, but it's not quite as useful as planes in the space plane hangar. So let's jump in there and have a look at how this mod works. Now let's open up a just stock Eris 3A for demonstration here today and kind of move it over so we can see it and the UI for the wind tunnel mod with this lovely new button here. If we press it, you'll notice it is calculating and basically what it's doing is running this plane through a simulated wind tunnel and it will come up with all of this gorgeous data. Now, when it first opens up, it'll always default to this flight envelope view and excess thrust. And basically what that is showing you is how much excess thrust in kilonewtons you have at different speeds in meters per second and altitudes in meters. And you get this lovely graph which at any point you can click in and it'll give you all of the information specifically for that data point. So showing you at what altitude, speed, etc. you'll have specific flight angle of attack, uh, 66 kilonewtons per second, or well, for level flight angle of attack rather there, and just all of this lovely data to help you not only build a better plane, but what to expect from your maiden voyage. And I really, really love that. So if you are at, you know, 200 meters per second at 6,000 meters in altitude, well, uh, this is the information you're going to be expecting and I really love that data. Now, all of this will show for no matter what we select down here, but what these buttons here will do is change what is showing on the graph. So right now, this graph focuses on that excess thrust. This graph will focus on the level flight angle of attack. This one will, of course, focus on lift to drag ratios. This one, the thrust available. This one, the lift slope. And the final one, the excess acceleration. And at any one of them, you can click in any point and it'll show you all of this information over here, no matter what of these charts you are on. And that is just quite cool. So you get all the same information and just which chart you prefer. Now, beyond that, we also have three lovely buttons down here, which will allow you to actually highlight parts to see what exactly is affecting your drag and your lift. So if we click the drag one, it'll highlight the parts that'll be causing drag at the angle of attack we currently have selected. So right now the level flight angle of attack is 2.15 degrees. And if we change it to say, well, when we're at an excess thrust of 54 kilonewtons, well, that angle of attack is gonna change to 1.55, but we then have to hit apply to actually change which parts are highlighted. And it's the same thing in the lift category. It will highlight the parts affecting lift at that specific level flight angle of attack. And that's just a cool extra feature to have here. Now, of course, again, you can change this angle of attack by either clicking in here or typing in whichever you prefer. You just have to remember to click apply once you got the right degrees in there for it to update the highlighting. Well, let's turn that back off and head to our next category, which is the angle of attack curves. And I'm, I'm hoping this one works today. I, I've been having some issues with this not showing properly, but hey, it seems to be showing properly right now. Uh, basically, the issue I've been having is when I come into the angle of attack curves, 
it's still calculating those curves and it gets stuck at 100%. And it seems to me the only way to solve that is to exit the game, uninstall the mod, and then reinstall it and come back. And that seems to be what you have to do. But for the curves here, again, we're just getting different charts showing different information. This time for the lift force, the drag force, the lift drag ratio here in the angle of attack, the lift slope, pitch input, and pitching torque. And again, we can click at any point along here to get all of this information, which is different from the flight envelope, but showing uh, still very, very good, useful info. And it's just, again, great having all these different things. And now we can also change uh, sort of which one is showing here. Now, again, we can click along wherever it is but uh if we want to look at a specific altitude and a specific speed we can type them into here so right now it's looking at 7138 so we could uh, change that to 5000 and the speed to oh let's say 200 and that's if we want meters per second we can actually change that to the mock speed if we so desire Let's just go back to 200 there and apply, and there we go. You can see it changed the curves here. So again, just fun to have those additional little bits of info. And as you can see, we still have our lift and drag highlighting here to help out. Now the final one is the velocity curves, which this one will show us our airspeed and level angle of attack. And at the, well, the level angle of attack chart here, the lift to drag ratio, thrust available, and drag force. And again, we can change it what altitude we're looking at here by typing there and hitting apply to adjust the curve. And if you do at any point update your ship, so you're, you know, changing things around, moving things, adding things as you're looking at this data, at any point you can hit update vessel and it'll do the calculations all over again. Now the next fun feature is, well, you may not just be flying a plane here on Kerbin, and you can change what planet you're looking at with this drop-down, where you have the option of Eve, Kerbin, Duna, Jewel, and Lathe. So you can switch back and forth between whichever one, and it will update the charts accordingly. And that... That's just an extra lovely little feature. I really, really do like that. And it's just great having all these little bits of information, which it seems to be recalculating again, again there, but there it is. Once again, we have our flight envelope. Now, the last couple of buttons here. This one, of course, will bring up the settings, which, you know, you can select or deselect different, uh, basically, uh, standards on here, so lift, drag as coefficients, default the speed to mock rather than meters per second, start minimize, which I'll talk about minimize here in a moment, use simple part highlighting, show flight envelope outline on graph, show flight envelope outline even on flight envelope, and finally auto fit the axes to the graph data. So whichever one of these you pick and choose, which frankly I just leave on the defaults because they seem to work the best, you can adjust to your liking though. Now as for the bit talking about minimizing, well that's this button here. If you still want this to be up but you don't want all the graph, well we can hit that button. And we can still have our highlighting and even the ability to change the highlighting for altitude and speed but we then don't have that gigantic graph in the way. We're more concerned now about that drag and lift on the parts as we're building. And if you ever want the graph back, boom, you just hit that again, and you're back to the good old lovely wind tunnel. And all in all, this is an awesome thing. It is just so great having all of this additional information, and even better, you can export it. You may have noticed this little button right here, which, depending on what graph you are on, if you hit this button, it will export all of this data of this particular graph 
to a CSV file in the mod folder, which then will allow you to have that data available to plan out things, or if you are a user of the uh, Kerbal operating system, help you build your flight plans with that. And that's just an extra fun feature. And yeah, just all in all, this is a very, very cool little thing to have that I really think will help me with building and planning out my planes. So if you'd like to uh, take a look at this mod for yourself, which uh, I definitely say you should do, you can have a look at the link in the description as per usual. But that's really all for today, not anything else we can really go over, it's just a lot of lovely charts. Uh, but yes, I hope you have enjoyed today's episode and that you do come back for the next one. Hopefully, we'll be looking at yet another wonderful mod. But until then, thank you for watching, folks, and as always, have a good one.